Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel. I am always so happy and excited to see you stop in, spend a few minutes of your day with me. It means more to me than I can let you know. If you are not subscribed, I hope that you would consider subscribing by hitting that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have your support and I'd love to have you come back and visit from time to time. But anyway, today is, the, it's actually Sunday. Sunday, what, the 10th? Oh, it's my mom's birthday today, so happy birthday, mom. So, and it is strange that I always seem to start things on her birthday, isn't it? So, yeah, so that's just weird. Um, or maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe it's her guiding me. But anyway, I am going to join on the band band wagon here and do that hashtag uh, Wellness Wednesday, and I'll have that hashtag in my title because I probably messed that up. But yeah, I am looking forward to um, joining this group of women that are here to support each other with their their health, their fitness goals. And to me, I mean, yeah, I would love to lose some weight, but to me, it's much more than that. It's just, I, I really need to build up my core, um, my core strength, my upper arm strength. Um, I want to be able to do things without having to, you know, hurt myself all the time or go and ask people to, to do things for me. Yeah, so that's really what I want. I need to build up my strength and my core and I need some kind of motivation to keep going because I can get, once I get motivated, I can keep going for a while and then all of a sudden, I, I don't know what happens, but you, that mo you lose that motivation. I have no idea why. So to have these little things pop up and to help other people with their support group and to know that they're going to be supporting you too, it is just amazing. And yeah, that is one of these great things about YouTube is just the support and love that we have for one another. So, um, I think it was, was maybe a year and a half ago or something, uh, and I'll post that video up here. Um, I did a thing about let's motivate each other or get motivated or something like that. I even forgot what the title was because I didn't motivate myself. But anyway, it's um, how I started on this journey back in 2019 again, because I've been like, yeah, um, just about my whole adult life. And yeah, that's a long time to be going up and down, and that's not healthy for you either. But and I took some different steps back then to lose some weight and I wanted to motivate myself. And I used to keep like a kind of online type journal, which I thought would motivate me, yet it, it did not motivate me. And it was like every five years I would start up again on it. And so I'd kind of like pick up where I left off and, oh, it's my five years of feeling sorry for myself. But anyway, so that kind of documents a little bit of where I wanted to go with some kind of motivational journal. And so I started with this um, and it's just a, a plain notebook. And it was a, a real beautiful cover. I thought, believe, believe you can, and you're halfway there. So I thought that was really a nice tip. And it was just, look how empty it is. And it's just like the start journaling type thing. And I thought, well, this is perfect because I can put whatever I want in there and I can motivate myself. And I brought up my colored pens from my coloring books and I brought up all kinds of stickers. And I thought, well, this is really great. So I started this on January 10th, 2019. I was 159.8 pounds. And at the time when I started doing this journal, it was May 25th and I was 132. And so I just kind of put, put, wanted to document different things, why I wanted to keep a journal, what was important to me, what my fitness goals were, what did I want to do? And of course, one of the things was I wanted to be there, you know, for my family. I wanted to be there for my grandchildren. So I thought, well, this is kind of perfect. I can do a little bit of scrapbooking and a little bit of reasons for wanting to exercise. And so, and that's basically what it was. And, you know, I did pretty good for two or three days. And and then I kind of lost my motivation. I thought, oh, I can put in like different uh, little menus and things. And I did this on June 9th, 2019. I was 129.2 pounds. And that was my last entry. Because for me, I think I needed something a little bit more structured. I'm not a, a creative person by any means. So to have a blank book was just, it was a little too overwhelming for me. So then I got into um, using an Erin Condren life planner. And what I wanted to do in here was still do my love because I, I don't have a busy life. I don't have schedules. I don't have things to keep. But I wanted to kind of motivate myself and keep track of my steps. I've got an under desk elliptical that I use at work. And so I thought this was kind of perfect. I could still use it for a little bit of planning. I could use the different planner kits that were cute. I could keep step uh, track of my exercise. And so here, you know, I have my weight here and how many steps I took, the hours, the miles. And yeah, so it was just a lot of fun to do. 
and of course I was posting them here and there and of course you know these were some of my worst uh, videos and I think that kind of discouraged me and even though I knew that I wasn't doing it for other people I was doing it for me it's still kind of like putting yourself out there so I don't know I just kind of fell off the track but I would like to get back into this and um, this was me at my highest weight at 190 and then that was like uh, two Octobers ago so I was down to around 110, 112, and um, you know I, I felt better about myself. Um, I was felt like I was healthy. I got my blood pressure down. Um, I just really felt good, and I felt motivated. So this worked for quite a while, and then like I said, I kind of fell off the track in maybe September or something. But I did get a new one. I don't have any entries in it yet, so uh, so right now it's a blank canvas, but. I am going to use this again and I want to use it more for you know doing the same thing that I did before get some of the the weekly kits just to kind of fun, keep it fun and interesting and I want to put in pictures of my grandchildren but I want to use it more for what exercise did I do today uh, or maybe take my blood pressure a couple of times during the week just to kind of keep track of that and of course my weight maybe just I was doing it every day but uh, just recording the beginning and the end of the week so just that just a little bit of motivation and keeping me accountable and that was basically what I wanted that for was to keep me accountable because if you're you're doing it by yourself sometimes and you're not doing anything with a group of people or with your partner or your best girlfriends it's just so easy to fall off the track so this is going to be the start of my um, journey again this year and um, I'm going to actually take um, my pillows off this and my blanket and this is my Pilates reformer. So the first exercise I'm going to do today is on my Pilates reformer. And I'm not, I don't have any idea how I'm going to try to get the angle to record it, but I am going to record my workout. And then I'll go back later and just try to edit out different portions if, if I can. And maybe do that for my wellness Wednesday. And then maybe just on Wednesday pop in and just say, oh, I did this, this, and this. I brought up some of my um, Walk Aerobics DVDs. So I'm looking forward to maybe doing them again. And if I don't have room up yet because, well, you can see I, I, yeah, I've got my Christmas stuff up. And I'm in no hurry to get rid of it. Yeah. So I might end up having to go downstairs. Because I still have, well, two TVs downstairs, and I don't use downstairs. But I might end up doing my exercising downstairs. And plus, it's cooler downstairs. I mean, it's 63 up here, and I'm pretty comfortable. But downstairs, it's probably about 60. So that's perfect for exercising. It's perfect in the summer, too. I don't know why I didn't keep it up. But that's what I'm thinking. So anyway, I am going to put that little hashtag type thing in my title. And there's another one that's going on about 52 weeks or something transformation. So like I said I really don't want to I mean I, I know my weight's up I'm, yeah you don't have to tell me but I still feel comfortable at my weight um I just don't feel like I have the strength I don't have the inner strength that I need I don't have that core strength and that's what I really want to work at is you know maybe get if I can get rid of some back fat oh my god that would be awesome but anyway I want to thank everyone for watching me and I will pop back on Wednesday before I post this and just uh, let everybody know how the first couple of days of my uh, new wellness challenge is going so take care everyone we'll chat again on Wednesday bye bye
so that definitely was not the best workout, but it was a start. I haven't done this since maybe August or September, so it's uh, going to take me a while to get back into it to be able to do a half hour or 40 minutes at a time, but we all have to start somewhere. Um, just from what I did, I mean, I can feel it in my arms already. I, so it was like the biceps that were worked, the triceps that were worked. Uh, the quads definitely I can feel it and even though you're bouncing on this trampoline type thing that's what gets you the heart rate up so I can feel uh, my heart pumping just from that little bit at the end um, just doing a little bit of leg work you can feel it in the core you can feel it in your pelvis you can feel it in your stomach so you do um, there's all kinds of things and there's a lot more to do on the different videos um, to do it um, but I mean it's it's a it's a good workout I know it worked for me before so I'm looking forward to getting into this again, maybe not doing this every day, but um, incorporating some of my walk aerobics DVDs. I really like that step aerobics that I've got downstairs too. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back into this little by little, um, just baby steps for me right now until I get back into it. And I'm hoping that, uh, yeah, so I'm hoping that if you can see me in my mid-60s trying to get back in shape, that maybe I can encourage someone in their 20s to uh, don't look like me. Exercise now, eat healthy, drink water, stay safe everyone, and we'll chat again during the week. Okay, bye-bye. Hi everyone, welcome to the end of my first Wellness Wednesday tape. So, I am so excited to have you join me, and your support is, I'm hoping, will kind of help me push through and reach some of my fitness goals this year. Right now, I am having my Smart Sips. I have got the uh, Blueberry Cinnamon Crumble Coffee so good and yes I do add extra splendor and cream I've got um, what do I have in here today I've got um, cold stone creamery the uh, sweet cream so good but anyway so anyway um, I know everyone posted theirs uh, last Wednesday uh, for the start of it and I didn't really know what I wanted to do or what kind of format I wanted to use so I was kind of oh, I don't know what to do I don't know what to do help me so anyway I worked on it and said you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it so Sunday night is actually when I, I started uh, my week here. And so at the beginning of this, I posted just uh, my initial thoughts on what I wanted to do. And so here I am on Wednesday night. And uh, so Sunday I started and my weight is up to 128, which, you know, it really isn't that bad. I mean, I still feel comfortable. Most of my clothes still fit. They're maybe a little snug and I got this bad back that. But for me, um, I just don't, I, I well, I feel healthy. I just don't feel strong. And that's what I really want to do. I want to work on my core and my upper body strength. I think that's what's really lacking. So that's my major goal. To, to me, if I lose some weight, that's terrific. But it's, it's the strength is what I'm looking for. So that is my wellness goal. And I know everyone is doing something different, whether you're they're doing different diets or exercising, or maybe it's stress relief. Maybe it's committing yourself to maybe two days a week that you get to close that bathroom door, put on some candles, some soft music, and just have a bubble bath with no interruptions, no anybody coming in to, I need you to wipe my bum, or I don't know what to eat, or I spilled the milk, and you know, so it's, maybe that's what it is. Maybe for your wellness, you just need that me time, some quiet time, or sitting in a corner reading a book. It's just wellness to everybody is different we all have different needs and so whatever it is we're going to use this little hashtag down below the wellness wednesday and then then there's another one um something about a week 52 to transform yourself so that'll be in there too and like i said everyone's doing something different everyone's doing something that they're hoping is working for them and uh, just by doing this hashtag and coming on together we're just trying to support each other and help everybody um meet whatever goals they're going for. So what did I do this week? Okay, so I already said I started a Sunday and it's only Wednesday, so I'm only only doing half a week, but next week will be a full week. So Sunday night, I uh, took my blanket, my pillows off my reformer, and I actually did a workout on my Pilates reformer. Really felt good, but I can still feel it in my arms and my quads. It, it really was a good workout. And then I tried to um, do a videotape of it, and I'll try to get some portions of it, try to fast forward it, just in case this is something that maybe you're you're interested in. It's, it's. Um, I mean, you can go at your own pace. Um, it came with a couple of DVDs to do different things, um, and then um, it does sit on the floor, 
but um, for me, um, it was get, getting down was easy, but when, when you finished a half hour workout, it was like, how do I get up now? And I had to kind of roll off and then kind of pick myself up. So then I did buy a stand for it. So it's up about a foot, which really, really helps. And it's perfect for sitting here and chit chatting with you. And then um, on, two, on Monday night, I did um, a Leslie Sansone walk, walk away the pounds. And yeah, so I love her tape. So this is one of her old ones. This DVD has one and two miles on it, and I did the one mile because I'm um, baby steps get just getting back into it, and that was the one that used these uh, one pound weighted balls. So you got to do a little bit of arm work, and it just helps you burn a little bit more calories just by uh, using this and help building strength. So that was fun. And then last night I actually put the uh, treadmill down um, so that I worked on the treadmill. I had um, my friend Alexa play um, some Kelly Clarkson music because I just, I love her music to exercise too. Alexa, stop the radio. And um, yeah, because her music is just kind of so upbeat and it was really good to kind of keep a good pace. And um, during different songs, I kind of lifted the incline up and then, you know, would raise the uh, speed up and then raise it back down. So I did a little over a mile in like 20 minutes. So I thought that was a pretty good start for me. And tonight, what am I going to do? So tonight, I'm going to mix it up. So after I finish my video, I'm going to kind of put it, try to put it together. And then while it's uploading, I'm going to come and do maybe 10 minutes on my Pilates reformer. Just doing a few different steps and then 10 minutes on the treadmill, maybe just a half mile. And that'll be my workout today. And um, yeah, so I will see you again next Wednesday. Um, good luck to all of us. Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm including me. Good luck to me to, for trying to keep this goal. And um, yeah, so I hope that you check out some of these other ladies. We could all use your support and motivation. And anytime you want to join in, just use that hashtag and we can find you too. So um, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you go out, have a great week, and we will chat again later. Bye-bye.